What is going on, everybody? My name is Blake TV, and welcome to Red Dead Redemption 2. Quick disclaimer before I continue on with the video. This is continuing from my save file, and I am by no means making a new save file just for YouTube. If you are here to see full gameplay and, like, full storyline, then there are other YouTube videos. This is mainly just showcasing some missions and just the game itself, because I really love this game. And I cannot guarantee that I'm going to make a YouTube video every single time I start the game, so if you miss some story missions, I'm sorry, but like I said, there are other YouTubers that have done complete covers of this game. So, with that being said, I have a couple more things to say before we get started. I will be muting my microphone for most of this Let's Play so you'll get to hear actual game audio. And I will only unmute it if I feel I need to say something that's important to the story or anything else, but... Here is Red Dead Redemption 2. It's one of the most beautiful games I think Rockstar has ever created, personally. It's got a lot of little details in it that matter, and it's just a wonderful game. I just... I'm very lucky to have it. It's one of my favorite games, if not my favorite game, that's come out to this day. Just because of all the little details in the game and what you can do. But yeah, I've made it about 17% into the story. Let's check that right quick. Fifty, excuse me, sorry. I've made it 15% into the story. So, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. I'm going to mute my microphone and see what the world has to offer for me in this video. It's all right, boy. What's it here? Leviticus Cornwall's train robbers. Well, so. Have a look. You must travel a lot if you've made it all the way over here. Now grab some items for your camp. Coffee, hunting supplies, biscuits, canned items. All along the perimeter of the shop. It's got everything you need. Would you like anything else? Thanks. Yep. Hello, sir. I've uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang. Como Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight, two men got killed. Now, one of them's an idiot, the other's some kind of dumb mick, so maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, sir. Let me out of here, you maggots! <laughs> you think these bars can hold me? You hear me? Are 
Arthur! Arthur! Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you going to get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now, I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. You got any dynamite? You might want to step back a bit. This wall just needs some good force. <coughs> 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 Let's get out of here, come on. What the hell are you doing? He wasn't O'Driscoll. Should have been. Known you were up to no oh. good. something of mine. My guns. I showed him, and I'll show the rest of this town! You have really lost in this town. Let's put this son of a bitch down!
gotta hand it to you. What the hell was that you pulled back there? Got a bit wild, all right. Wild? Making a house call in the middle of all that? Ain't much I care about more than those guns. That much is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny, too. He hadn't found us in time. Yes, you will all be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. Some of them. I think we finally lost him. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. It's my way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time. Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court jester? All right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me, sons of Dutch, makes us brothers. Sometimes brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp around back of Strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. You ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a... Peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah. All right, boy. In case you couldn't tell, there were wolves to my right. That's why I'm aiming a bow. There, boy.
Arthur. Oh, Arthur. Now, you seem in a good mood. I am, son. I am. Let's have some fun. Tonight. Let's enjoy ourselves. Are we having a party? Maybe. Just a little one. Even you, Arthur. Great. Even you. Mr. McGuire is back. What? So come on. Let's have a cocktail party. So everything's going to be okay. Uncle Sean is back. And don't you worry, Miss Grimshaw, you old crone. I'll keep them girls in line. If I have to whip them, I will. And you get a bump on the head. And don't you worry, Mr. Pearson, you drunk old shitbag. It'll be nothing but the, the finest game in the pot. Now, Deadeye Maguire's back. <laughs> and don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. <laughs> I love you, bastards. <laughs> have fun. Have we lots of fun. <laughs> Even you, you grumpy old bastard, Arthur. Oh, here comes trouble. I just can't get rid of you, can I? Mind if I join you, fine folk? <laughs> I suppose. You're looking stop lovely it. as ever, if I may say so. Oh, stop it. Imagine riding with him all the way from Blackwater to here. This stupid old... So, what now? Come on. How about a storm? <laughs> He'll be drinking till dawn now. about something a little more civilized. Ah, it's good to be back. I even missed you, <laughs> you old bastard. <laughs> Suddenly you seem much better, Marston. Don't feel too sudden to me. <laughs> Just when the drinks Mr. come Morgan. out. Morgan. Reverend. Hello. Hello. What do you want? I'm not... I'm not quite sure. Oh. This keeps happening. I mean it. <laughs> you okay, Hosea? Well done, Arthur. Uh, it wasn't just me. It's good to have him back. Let's see if we're still saying that in a day or two. How are you doing, Mrs. Adler? Uh, not really in the party mood. I understand. Sean will make your life hell when he finds out you're an Odrisco. Oh, great. Just be grateful you're alive. Well, he's back. 
as loud a mouth as ever. Ah, oh, you can talk. Hey there. Morning, Arthur. Good morning, Arthur. Looks real heavy in Blackwater, Dutch. Posters of you and Jose everywhere, Trelawney said. All the more reason to stay well away for now. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. Locals? It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well... It's a long story, and not an interesting one. But I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town. And I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again, if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours. Mary Linton. Began to tumble and roar. I don't need this right now. A face was as red as a lobster. I fell and broke my poor knobster. I watched she was picked from my fobster. I'm resolved oh, to try it. I'll stick to a moderate diet. I'll drink good I'll deny.
Stepped in. I thought you had it covered. Just wait till you're old. I'll be at camp if you need me. Something else. Well, you heard about the wedding party? Yes? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A collar for you. Hello, Arthur. I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's, um... Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and... Come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Oh, okay. Listen, Arthur, I... I'm... My family. I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. Well, I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... but I think of you often. Long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. Boy. 
more. You're all right, boy. Morning. Morning to you. Welcome back. We got really fair prices on horses. It costs more for a reason. Good saddles is almost as important as a good horse. That's a nice addition on a saddle. Some grooming goes a long way. It looks nice. Sucker. Morning to you. You trying to kill me? We got a problem. Yeah, good boy. There, boy. Morning. could help. 
up and died on me, twisted my ankle something fierce. Think you could give me a ride? Yeah, sure. Hop on. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. You know Emerald Ranch? Mind taking me there? It's all right, boy. Sure. Yep. Glad I ran into you. Huh. I raised that horse, you know. Raised it since it was just a foal. Oh, uh, losing a horse is hard. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, that horse did right by me. Better than my husband, truth be told. That fool, always complaining. But does he do something about it? Man barely lifts his hand to wave the flies away. Aside from to lift yeah. a drink, of course. Marriage, for me, has been nothing but trouble. But Biscuit? He was a fine animal. Loyal, smart, brave. Didn't take no guff, not from no one. Had one of them mountain boys pull a gun on me once. I was riding up near the Dakota and had stopped by a nice warm patch. Must have dozed off, but I wake up and find some nasty piece of work pointing a rusty shotgun straight at me. Well, he gets wheezing on and I must have made some sort of noise because the next thing I know, Biscuit had nipped his ear clean off. Kicked his hide, too, as he was hollering away. Didn't think a man could run so fast. Oh, yeah? Yeah, had a good laugh on that one. <laughs> I tell the husband, what does he do? Should have never gone over there, honey, he says. Gee, thanks. <coughs> so, you live at Emerald Ranch, then? For the time being. I was looking for work. They was looking for some help with the garden. If I waited any longer for my husband to put food on the table, I'd have died of starvation. I'll be moving on soon, though. Emerald Ranch, well, it's a strange place. How so? The owner's a mean bastard. Strange, too. Delights in bullying folk. There's a daughter, but she never leaves the house. You can see her in the window sometimes. When I asked about her, everybody told me to leave it alone. Found an old saloon there, all shut down now, but I went in to have a look, and there's bullet holes, old blood stains. Something definitely happened there, but I couldn't figure it. Just an uncomfortable feeling to the place. Either way, it's time I left, especially now I lost that poor horse. I'll collect my belongings and be on my way. Back home? I guess. I bet my husband's right where I left him, bottle in hand. Oh, we're getting close now. This is great. This was kind of you, mister. Please, take this as my way of thanking you. Hm. Appreciate it. <sighs> what a lousy day. You okay, boy?
this here boy. And what is Chelonian? No less than the recent rediscovery of theology. <laughs> Gentlemen! Uh, Gonna speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worthy. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I don't know about this nonsense. Let me speak to the boy. Dut, dut. Are you always this negative and antagonistic, sir? I'm not a very cultured man. Forgive me, please. <laughs> I am a fool for my God and a happy one, sir. I bless you. What do I dream about? Who are my heroes? I have no idea. Um, uh, turtles. Yeah, turtles. Hey, you love turtles. I love them too. Turtles. Jamie knows the truth. But of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary, then make up your mind! Shalom. Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! Morgan. Leave me alone. Please, kid. 
put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone. Go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know. There ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Ah, uh, sorry, boy. Yeah. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtles. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take you anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father, a nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, uh, well, um... Uh, Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but... All right, go work in an orchard. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No doubt, but none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. So, are you two getting back together? I told you, no. Just ask me for a favor. You know Barry Linton's dead? Pneumonia. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. Lester? about seeing her, aren't you? Hello there. Make it quick or I might run off again. Jamie! Jamie! Come home! Please, you've... Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. 
And you, Arthur. And you. I've... You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. I'm too old to get a job, mister. Way too old. Can't we be friends? Sure. I'm so happy. I ain't had a friend in a long time. Long, long time. My last friend died. Weren't my fault. They said it was, but they was wrong. It's fun being with you, mister. Can I hold you a second, mister? Can I? Okay, just quickly. That felt good. It's nice to be held sometimes. Oh, we used to hold each other in the war. You got sad eyes, mister. Like you've seen sad things. Remember with kindness. Oh. Evening, sir. Dumb boy. Evening. Okay there. You're all right, boy. Well, I think I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this first episode of Red Dead Redemption. I'm sure it's a very long episode, but I hope everybody enjoyed it. And if you have, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. I will be making another one very shortly, I imagine.